Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Monica Paez here. Today I wanted to show you guys a full day of eating. And it's a Saturday. So I chose a Saturday because this is the hardest day for me to kind of stay on track. So I um, kind of wanted to show you guys that, how it's okay to be a little bit off once in a while. So for my first meal, which is my pre-workout, I'm gonna be having some Kodiak cakes. I like to have my car most of my carbs in my post and pre-workout. And before I eat anything, I usually have my essential enzymes. So I'm just adding a quarter cup of water, like it says in the directions. The one that I get is the light and fit Danon vanilla, Greek yogurt. So I'm getting a hundred grams of that. And then I also am gonna have one hard boiled egg. So I'm just getting the Greek yogurt, kinda just putting it in there. And voila, I'm gonna be having my breakfast. Put that egg on top, yummy yummy. All right, and I always have one pack of emergency I like the pink lemonade flavor. That's really like the only flavor that I'll have. I always have that with my first meal. Uh, since I have arthritis, I have a weak immune system. So, don't wanna get sick, I'll have that. And then I'll also have my multivitamin and fish oil. And in case you wanted to know, the macros for that meal are 49.7 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 24 grams of protein, 397 calories. So now I'm gonna go train, and I've got my BCAAs with some glutamine in here. And I will catch you guys later for my post-workout meal. It's 11 o'clock and I just got home from the gym and I'm about to have my post-workout shake. All right, so I'm gonna be putting 25 grams of protein shake half a cup of Special K Chocolatey Delight, one pack, 100 calorie maple and brown sugar oatmeal, 40 grams bananas, about two cups of spinach, one cup of cashew milk. I, like I said, my post-workout and my pre-workout are where I have my most amount of carbs for the day. And then since I'm not really a green veggie type of person, I just put it in my smoothie and that way I get my greens in. And I'll be like Popeye. <laughs> and the macros on that shake are 46.4 grams of carbs, 6.9 grams of fat, and 27.8 grams of protein, and 338 calories. So I'm just gonna sit here and sip on my shake. Rest a little bit until my yoga instructor gets here. Hey guys, I just finished yoga and I'm on my way to some laser hair removal. I actually am really excited because I've never done a handstand and I asked my yoga teacher to focus on that. So I did a yoga uh, handstand. I was like inverted for a second. She helped me. Um, it was like a tucked handstand, but I'll take it. So we are running kind of late and I didn't have much time to um, get my food and like I said, that's part of being on the weekends, you're on the go. So I went to Taco Bell and I got two hard chicken tacos and the macros on that are not bad actually. For 22 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat and 22 grams of protein. So not too bad. I'm gonna enjoy my taco and I'll catch you guys later. We are back from the laser hair removal. It took so long <sighs> and I'm so hungry. Those tacos did not take away my hunger. Um, I'm gonna have a bar now, one of these art bars, because I have, I'm going to my cousin's 21st birthday party a little, little bit later and um, I don't wanna have, like, be picking at the food and stuff because that's where I start going wrong. I already know what I'm gonna be having for dinner because I know what they're gonna um, be serving, which is something that I encourage you guys to do if you're going to a party or you're going to dinner, just check the menu out, ask 
the host of the party what they're gonna be serving and you can just add that to your macros. So I'll be having some chicken, rice, and beans and salad. I'll show you guys a little bit, a clip of that, but you probably won't be able to hear me because it's gonna be really, really loud. I'm having this RX bar right now. I'm gonna start doing my makeup, but it's 210 calories, nine grams fat, 24 grams of carbs, and 12 of protein. I actually, started a 30 day challenge for myself on Monday, this past Monday. Today is the 19th, so I started it on the 14th. Um, so for 30 days, I challenged myself to be right on point with my macros because I used to taste things from people here, taste a little bit from there, and I wouldn't put in my macros. Um, and that starts adding up. And I also would not eat as many veggies as I should. So that's also kind of a challenge for me today. My veggies haven't been the greatest. I had some lettuce in the taco and I'm gonna have some salad today. So it's getting up there. My fiber um, is also very important. So I've, I've met my fiber intake for the day. So I'll catch you guys later when I go to the party. Bye. We are back home from the party. I already took off my makeup, took a bath because I was so sweaty from dancing all night. Um, and I'm having a bit of a snack because I ate at the party, but as you guys saw, there wasn't many options. So I ended up having six meatballs, some salad, and one fried plantain and that was 19.2 carbs 7.7 .7 grams of fat and 9.6 grams of protein so i needed to get the rest of my macros um so right now i'm having 150 grams of greek yogurt the one that i showed you 30 grams of protein granola granola oats and 10 grams of my snickerdoodle whey protein and that's 31 grams carbs four grams of fat and 31.7 protein. And there you have it, that's a full day of eating and I just wanted to show you guys that you see things come up on the weekend and they're kind of hard, you're not on that much of a set schedule, you've got events, things to go to, and since this is a lifestyle and it really isn't a diet, you know, you can limit yourself to everything and, um, you know, always have your, your food or anything like that, that's just not sustainable, it's not fun. So you just gotta work around it. And um, I'm pretty proud of myself. I made it to my macros, which is a first for me on the weekends because I usually don't. For me, my macros are 130, to, uh, 130 protein, 205 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat, and 30 grams of fiber. Those are my totals. And today I was able to get to 128 grams of protein, 202 grams of carbs, 26 grams of fiber, and 54 grams of fat. So I did it guys. Remember you always have to be about plus or minus five. And I did it. So happy. I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't done it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.